say such a form. I welcome all of you today. First virtual math class of 8th grade. My name is Princy. I am the class teacher of 8E. This virtual session is for entire 8th grade. Children, do you know why mathematics is important in our day today? Like, if you learn mathematics, you will nurture certain qualities such as reasoning power, creativity, critical thinking, problem solving ability, etc. Mathematics is the cradle of all creations, without which the world cannot move an inch. Be it a cook or a farmer, an engineer or a scientist, a musician or a magician, everyone needs mathematics in their day-to-day -day life. For example, your mom cooks food for you, right? Which is our staple food? Rice. Does she use math while cooking rice? Obviously. Yes. How? To make rice, first what she should do? She should count the number of people and then calculate the quantity of rice. Then what's next? She has to add water to cook the rice. She knows very well how much water is required to make the specific quantity. And then she sets the timing or waiting for the whistle if it is in a pressure cooker. So, throughout this process, we can see the implication or application of mathematics in our daily life. So, mathematics is a tool in our hands to make our life simpler and easier. That is why mathematics is called the queen of all sciences. So, children, if you put a little effort, then it will be more enjoyable. Are you ready for the excitement in math? Yes, very good. Our math textbook has three parts. This is the first book comprised of three chapters. And then this is the second book. It consists of four chapters. And this is the third book. Contains only three chapters. Let's begin a new virtual session with the second chapter named Equation. Have you heard about Equation? What is an Equation? An equation is the mathematical statement that has two equal parts separated by an equal sign. For example, 6 square 4. Is this an equation children? No. Why? There is no equal sign in it. Plus 4 is equal to Here, what is 6 plus 4? 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. And this side also 10 is there. So you just write 10 here. What is in between? In between it is 8 equal to. So here, 10 is equal to 10. This is left hand side, left hand side and this is right hand side that is LSS, left hand side is equal to RSS that is right hand side. So here LSS is equal to RSS. Our first topic is addition and subtraction. I will read the first question in that. Six more marks and I would have got full hundred marks in the math test. Rajan was sad. How much mark did he actually get? This is the question. Six more marks I would have got full hundred marks. Six more marks. What is that more here? More denotes addition. More denotes addition. So, six more marks and I would have got full hundred marks. Six more. So, plus six is equal to hundred. So, here this is the answer. So, here this answer we have to find out. So, dash plus six is equal to hundred. So, what is the answer here? We know that 
it is 94. So how did you get this 94? The concept is here. The concept here is subtraction. So 100 minus 6 is equal to 94. So children, the first question answer is 94. Let's do another question. Now we are going to do question number 3. I'll read the question. Gopalan bought a bunch of bananas. Seven of them were rotten, which he threw away. Now there are 46. How many bananas were there in the bunch? Gopalan bought a bunch of bananas. Seven of them threw away. What does that mean? Threw away. Threw away means subtraction. How many bananas he threw away? 7. So, threw away is subtraction. So, minus 7 is equal to. How much is remaining there? 46. 46. So, we need to find out the answer here. So, how to find out this answer? Dash minus 7 is equal to 46. So, the answer is. 53. 53 minus 7 is equal to 46. So what is the concept here? 46 plus 7. 46 plus 7 is equal to 53. So Gobalan bought a bunch of bananas. So how many bananas were there in the bunch? 53 bananas. And then children Second question, fourth, fifth and sixth. You have to do it as homework. Question number two, four, five and six. You have to do homework. Children, next topic is multiplication and division. What is multiplication? Multiplication is repeated addition. And what is division? Division is repeated subtraction. Now, let's see the first question. I will read out for you. In a company, the manager's salary is 5 times that of a pupil. The manager gets 40,000 rupees a month. How much does a pupil get a month? How to do this children? Five. That of pupil salary is equal to manager salary. What is manager salary? It is 40,000. So, 5 times of pupil salary is equal to manager salary that is 40,000. So, 5 into that is equal to 40,000. So, how to do this? 5 into 8,000 is equal to 40,000, right? So, what is the concept here? 40,000 divided by this 5. So, 40,000 divided by 5 is equal to 8,000. So, what is the answer here? 8,000, that is the... So, what is the answer? 8,000 is the... Salary of few. Now we will do another question. Fourth one. A number divided by 21 gives 756. What is the number? A number 
divided by 21 gives 756 a number divided by 21 is equal to 756 so what is the answer how to do this children 756 into 21 7 5 6 What is 756 into 21? 15,876. Now, children, second question and third question you need to do home. Second and third you need to do home. Okay, and then this is the end of this session. Thank you. Have a great day.